Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're already a subscriber, I'm so glad you're here. This is gonna be a short and sweet bonus type of reading. We're gonna be looking at how your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time. Okay, for Gemini. What messages do you have for Gemini and love? For Gemini, the sign of Gemini. Or who or what is coming towards Gemini in love? Who or what is coming towards Gemini? Who or what is coming towards Gemini in love? Okay, we got the fool. Beautiful. New energy here, new beginnings, leaps of faith, uh, risks. It's all about something new coming in here. Someone taking a risk. Who or what is coming towards Gemini in love? Ooh, we got the Four of Cups. I think you, uh, Gemini's got the Four of Cups also in one of your recent readings. Discontent, dissatisfaction, not feeling satisfied, fulfilled. Um, this is someone who is close to new opportunities um, because they can't see them. So it could be that maybe you're in a rut right now and you can't see that there is an opportunity coming your way. Or maybe this is someone that is offering you something and you're not interested. Six of Cups reversed. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> you're stuck in the past. Now, this could be all of your energies, Gemini here, or it could be a mix of you and your person. This is just what's going on in your connection, what's going on for you in love. So the story that I see here is that um, Gemini's, the Gemini's that I'm reading for, you or your person are not very open to something new. I feel like you're still looking towards the past. Uh, maybe this is a big change for you leaving the past behind or perhaps this is something to do with you know not being sure uh of what you want and so there's hesitation here uh bottom of the deck i have the two of wands reversed yeah so this again is almost like a choice between the past and the future it's kind of what i'm getting here but let's see let's get some more information what are the energies surrounding Gemini in love. I'm using the Enchanted Map Oracles here. What are the energies surrounding Gemini in love? What do we need to know, sir, for Gemini? You know, it could also be that there's some someone or something new coming your way, Gemini, and you might be too focused on the past to see it. Okay, we got 12, slow and steady. Interesting. So I got them. I, I immediately thought of the Knight of Pentacles. Um, something that has taken a long time to develop. Something that, you know, needs time to take hold is kind of what I'm getting. It's almost like this has probably been um, a very slow process or development here in love. Um, let's see what else we get. Actually, let me leave this out. Tell me more for Gemini, and then we'll clarify all of these energies here. Get some more information. Tell me more for Gemini, Spirit. What are the energies surrounding Gemini? I love. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. This could be your person, too. And haven't you guys been getting kind of that message, too? Bottom of the deck, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, hmm. Worth waiting for right behind that. Yeah, slow and steady. It's almost like, again, you've had a lot of readings recently about divine timing, um, about the past coming back. Um, a lot of you are in third party um, situations, but we'll see what this reading is all about. There is... Um, there's some sort of block here, I feel. Something is slow and steady or slower because someone is 
hung up on finances and career. Perhaps this is your focus right now. You're not really thinking about love at this moment and maybe that's why you don't see it coming with this four of cups. You get one more. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is available down below in the description box. Can you get one more for the energy surrounding Gemini? In love. Oh, we got reach out. Contact, exchange, touch. Take, to, take the initiative to reach out. So someone I feel is reaching out here. Uh, maybe after a long time, maybe they've taken a while to reach out to you here. But it's I see that it's going to happen. So hmm. it's one of my favorite cards, reach out. Bottom of the deck, we have difficult decision. So someone's probably debating um, whether they should reach out, what they should say. Um, again, the two of wands energy here with a difficult decision. There's two very different paths that someone could take here. All right, so let's get into clarifying. Let's clarify these energies here. Spirit, tell me more for Gemini. If I could grab my deck, that'd be... That would be great. <laughs> Tell me more, Spare. Help me clarify all these messages for the Gemini. Show me clearly. Okay. What I have here? Knight of Pentacles. Exactly what I was talking about. Tell me about the fool. Tell me about the fool. Seven of Cups reversed. Yeah, this is this is going to be a reading about choice, options, uh, choosing something. <laughs> um, Tell me more about the fool. This could also be a warning to make the right choice here, to make sure that you're choosing the right cup. Three of Pentacles reverse. Um, I immediately thought finances and career card, um, but I'm also seeing like difficulties here. Um, there could be something interfering or in the way of someone being able to work on something and then here i have the ten of pentacles so it could be um, stability financial security commitments um family for some of you as well could kind of throw a wrench here let's see tell me about this three of pentacles reverse why is the three of pentacles reverse The devil reversed Capricorn energy. Okay, so something here is probably not working out because someone needs to break free, be free of a toxic or unhealthy environment. Um, I have the Ace of Cups reverse, heartbreak, disappointment, and the King of Cups reverse. Yeah, this is someone that is heartbroken and disappointed, emotionally not doing very well here. And it's because they need to get out of a situation. And probably probably this has something to do with work or money. Um, the reason why they're there. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? The Fool reverse. So someone here, I feel what I'm getting is that they don't want to really make a foolish decision. They don't want to make a foolish decision or a mistake. And that's probably why there's hesitation or delays here. We got the Two of Cups at the bottom with the Queen of Cups reverse. 
So someone here, um, this could also be that someone made a choice that was the wrong choice in the past or recently, and maybe they are paying for that decision with the three of pentacles reverse and the devil reverse. You know, maybe they weren't thinking or seeing exactly where they were headed and they chose the wrong cup here because the seven of cups is a card when it's upright it's a card about illusions um all, not all of these cups are the same not all of these cups offer something good um but they look shiny and alluring and so someone could be um deceived into choosing the wrong cup see how there's like a snake in this cup down here anyways so when it's reversed it's someone that could have regrets over a decision they've made here that was not the right cup or they finally chosen a cup. Let's move on and see what else we get. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Two of Pentacles, again with the decision between two. This could also be someone going back and forth. Not sure uh, whether to accept this cup or not. Or be open to this opportunity or not six of wands reverse so someone's worried about um, not being successful or perhaps they aren't being successful in whatever they're doing because they have too much going on maybe they're trying to balance two when they can only really handle one can we get one more please for the four of cups Temperance, card about timing, and then we have the Page of Swords that wanted to come out. Temperance energy, um, <laughs> sign of Sagittarius. Uh, so this is something that's taking a while to come together. This is someone that needs to balance something here. I have two cards here about balance. So I'm, I, I don't think this person has balanced something just yet. I don't think they're successful just yet. Um, I feel like this is that reach out card, the Page of Swords. This could be somebody using communication, research, um, maybe they are, you know, signing contracts or something, dealing with paperwork, re, you know, internet stuff, um, and there's, you know, time that needs to still happen here. Slow and steady. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Wands. So. You know, whatever this pentacle is that someone needs to, I feel like this is somebody that needs to drop something here. There's obligations here. We got the four of wands and the three of swords reversed. So there could be, again, some sort of interference regarding the home, family, um, marriage, you know. So there's some sort of um, burden here that someone needs to drop. They're still carrying it is what I'm seeing because it's upright. So this is someone that's still, I feel like they're doing a lot on their own. They have a lot going on right now, whoever this is. And perhaps now all they can do is talk or watch, um, plan. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. Oh, we got the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, another card about like time and doubts so someone's possibly having doubts <laughs> worries here um wondering if their investment is going to pay off wondering if things are going to work out wondering if they even invested in the right thing tell me about the six of cups reverse nine of pentacles yeah this is someone that this is someone that, um, interesting. <laughs> Can I get one more for the Nine of Pentacles? I want to make sure that I'm seeing this right. Can I get one more for the Nine of Pentacles, please? Yeah, Four of Cups. Someone's worried that this Nine of Pentacles is not going to accept their offer. Like this is this is really it. So it's almost like this Seven of this man or this figure here, and the Seven of Pentacles. It's almost like they're wondering, you know, if I were to offer this cup to this Nine of Pentacles, will they accept? Will that work out? 
That's what I'm seeing here. Um, there's doubts. There's 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 an uncertainty here with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, it's almost like they worry or they wonder if there will be any interest. You know. I feel like that's partly um, why someone needs to reach out here and discuss this because um, how else are you going to know if someone is no longer interested if you don't? Look at this, the Magician with the Eight of Cups. This could be you or your person. Um, someone's making something happen here and it's going to begin with a departure of some sort. Interesting. Let's look at your person real quick. I oh, just want to get some basic uh, insight into the person that you might be dealing with here. Tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with, Spirit. Give me some insight into this person. Give me some insight into the person that Gemini is dealing with, please. Budding romance, new love, romance, courtship. Romance is in the air. And then bottom of the deck, I have restoring balance. So this is your person's energy. Um, again, this feeling of new, new, new love, new romance. Doesn't have to mean that this is someone that you've never met before, but almost like there's like a beginning here. Tell me more about this person that Gemini is dealing with. Who is coming towards Gemini? Spirit. Who is coming towards Gemini? Who is coming towards Gemini? Spirit. The Empress Reverse. Who is coming towards Gemini? Ace of Pentacles Reverse. Two, uh, three of Pentacles Reverse again. So yeah, and then the Chariot Reverse. This person's stuck. There's an interference here. Financial. For a lot of you, this is financial. Um, the Empress Reverse could be a jilted lover, someone that has been left behind, someone that's very upset, a, a motherly feminine figure. I feel like there's a block here. Literally. The Chariot Reverse, Cancer Energy, Three of Pentacles Reverse. So someone that cannot move. They're stuck. And I feel this Empress could be an interference. This could be anybody. Um, this could be somebody that your person's dealing with on their own. We're going to look closer at your person in the extended. We're going to look at their true intentions. What are they secretly thinking or feeling? We'll clarify all of this um, and get more information about them. What's going on behind the scenes? All that good stuff. So where's all of this headed? Let's jump back in here. Where's all of this headed? What's next for this situation for Gemini? Where is all of this headed? Where is all of this headed for Gemini? And this other person. Where is all of this headed, Spirit, in the near future? The Hermit Reverse, Virgo Energy. Where is all of this headed in the near future? King of Pentacles reverse. Where's all of this headed in the near future? Knight of Swords reverse. Seven of Wands. Nine of Cups. The Emperor reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse and the Moon. Mm. And the Four of Wands. Yeah, with the moon, I, you don't know what's going on, Gemini. For the Geminis that I'm reading in, you have no idea what your person is stuck in. Um, maybe you might have like the smallest indication of what they're going through. But with the moon here, I feel like there's so much going on behind the scenes. I have the emperor reverse, the emperor's reverse. If they are in a connection, it's not going well. I have some sort of challenge or opposition here with the seven of wands reverse. Um, that I feel like someone's giving up something for their own happiness. 
that's what I'm seeing here. Like they're no longer wanting to fight or resist what they truly want here with the Nine of Cups. And with the Knight of Swords reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed, again, I'm getting like slow energy. We'll clarify this, by the way. Let's get some info here. Let's clarify. Could be dealing with a Virgo as well. I have the Hermit reversed here. Let me clarify these energies, please, for Gemini. Let's clarify. Let's get some more information. Why is the Hermit reversed? Ten of Swords reverse. Why is the Hermit reverse? Yeah, I feel like someone... Um, hmm. Page of Wands, yes. This is someone, and then I have the Knight of Swords reversed again. This is why I feel like if the reversals come out, they come out because the message is the message, okay? This is someone that has left a cycle in the past or there has they have had some sort of ending here. Uh, it's over. It already happened. The Ten of Swords reverse means that this is someone that is ready to move forward into something new with the Page of Wands here. I feel like this is someone coming, you know, uh, into contact or reaching out with the Hermit reverse, like after a long time or after someone ghosted or after someone was very far away or just, you know, withdrawn, ex excessively withdrawn. And now it's like, you know, it's like the beginning of something here with the Page of Wands. However, with the Knight of Swords reverse, and then we have Justice and the Five of Pentacles, I feel like this is someone that's trying to restore balance but is, ha is struggling right now, possibly financially here. And with the Knight of Swords reverse, it could be that they are blocked or delayed in, in doing whatever they need to do here. Tell me about this Page of Wands. So there's some sort of, um, someone's reaching out here and this has been an ongoing message. And I feel like whoever is reaching out is worried that the other person will not accept, will not be interested. Tell me about this page of wands. Yeah, this is about recovering what's been lost here um, with the five of cups reverse. This is, this is about Whatever has been lost, missing, whatever regrets there have been, like someone wants to talk about this. Another card about the past. They want to like get over the past, you know, like, um, like not let the past get in the way here. And then we have the two of swords reverse and then the six of swords. So this is someone that has probably made a difficult decision to move on here, um, to leave a situation, possibly that devil reversed. Why is the king of pentacles reversed? Why is the king of pentacles reversed? Knight of wands. Yeah, even though this is someone that's not doing well uh, financially or even in probably in their career, or if they're not really doing well in a commitment, um, I feel like they're still going to go after what they want. I have Page of Wands, Knight of Wands here. Yeah, this is someone taking action. And then I have the Hermit again. So I feel like this is someone that was quiet, was pensive, was thinking um, about their next steps. And then now it's like they're ready to take action. These are two cards about taking action here be dealing with a Virgo yeah this is someone this person made the wrong choice in the past that lovers reversed um, maybe they've even had a separation or they caused a separation with you Gemini tell me about the Knight of Swords reverse why is the Knight of Swords reverse seven of Pentacles reverse yeah, okay. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords, please, reverse. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? King of Cups reverse. Yeah, okay, so I'm getting this story here. This person invested in the wrong place, person, um, and they know it. Yeah, they know it because they've had clarity about this with the hangman. They, wherever they're stuck in, they're seeing things very clearly from a different angle. And what they're seeing is that they invested in the wrong thing. They were 
putting time, energy into something that never grew, never worked out for them. And now they want to talk with the Queen of Swords here. You know, whatever they're getting clarity about, they want to talk about it. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching this monthly reading. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and I'll see you all in the video very soon. Take care.